When we have angles of parallel lines. So ladies and gentlemen, so far last class period, what we talked about was we talked about having just lines, right? Lines and a transversal. Now we're going to make sure we're going to talk about parallel lines. And to know that they're parallel lines, we have to make sure they include what? When we look at a drawing that have parallel lines, we know they have to have those little, what do parallel lines have? They have to, well, yeah, when we write them out, they have the two lines. But if I actually draw the lines, we, why don't we show that they're parallel? Right? But what do we show to represent their parallel? Carly, you need to be taking out your folder. So we have these arrows. Right? So you have the arrows, so you have parallel lines. Then we have another line that's going to be across, which you call our, what do we call this line that crosses parallel lines or any two lines? Transversal. Okay, so when we did this, what was nice about having lines and a transversal was it created angles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And then we talked about what was the relationship now because now we have interior and exterior, right? Right? So then what it did is it created angle relationships. But what's very important is when we have parallel lines and only when we have parallel lines, the relationships that we talked about and we went over from your homework are going to have now a special meaning. I'm going to write them up there. So the first one we talked about was consecutive interior angles, right? And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? When you have parallel lines, consecutive interior angles add up to 180 degrees. Example. Sorry, I have to go through this really quickly. Consecutive interior angles, two angles that are on the inside, same side of the transversal. So angle, or you could say measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 5 equals 180 degrees. All right. The next one we talked about was alternate interior angles and alternate interior angles, when you have parallel lines, are equal in measure. So therefore, my example is alternate. Remember, they both have to be interior, but they have to alternate the transversal. So my example would be measure of angle 4 is equal to measure of angle 5. Okay. The next one we talked about was now we're getting out of the interior. Now we talked about exterior. So we talked about alternate exterior angles. And if you guys remember, alternate exterior angles are both exterior, but they alternate, again, the transversal. And those, again, are also equal in measure. All right? So therefore, an example of alternate exterior Angle 8 is exterior. Angle 1 is exterior. They're on different sides of the transversal. So therefore, I can say, example, the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 8. And remember, guys, these examples are only true when these lines are parallel. If they're not parallel, you cannot say, Dominic, they're equal or that they add up to 180. The last one we talked about was corresponding. Corresponding angles are also equal in measure. So an example, remember corresponding was one was interior, one was exterior, but they're in the same position. So what I can say is example of measure of angle 2 is equal to measure of angle 6. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you have uh, this information written down. All right. Um, we will use this information to kind of